Hello, welcome to Afro News South Africa. Please kindly subscribe and share. Turn the notification on so you would be notified each time we upload a new video. Thank you all. I am not sure what is the significance of a nickname in other families, but in my family, it had hugely significant. My grandmother believed that if the child does not have a nickname, she or he is not loved enough. As a result, we all have nicknames. We only moved away from that tradition when my grandmother passed away. When Lathando, Lathando Fuse posted that Mandela was Tata, Zuma was Baba, and Ramaphosis is who. It took me back to my childhood life. Looking at Lathando's question, he does not have that one nickname, that is popular, well known, and attached to him that if a person says it, you would know that they are talking about the president. He is often called Cupcake, some call him Pala Pala, and this only happened after the farm robbery. Zuma was unable through, even after the candless scandal, his nickname did not change. People who don't follow the news, wouldn't follow the news, they will be confused if you said cupcake, and they will think you are referring to food. Some argued that there was nothing wrong with Ramaphosa not having a nickname, as former president Thabo Mbeki and Kalima Motlint also did not have nicknames, again, Zimbabwean border traders claim they will continue operating, regardless of South Africa's reluctance to enforce a rule that could restrict their country's freedoms. Zimbabwe Cross-Border Traders Association Secretary General Augustine Tawanda told Newsday Business that CCBTA has just given a suggestion to the council on what should be accomplished to minimize human traffic, while stock keeps moving over the boundary. I've heard from both the South African and Zimbabwean councils that they need to limit people's professional advancement, as he phrased it. What this new South African law has to do with our suggested trade of a few workers crossing the border for 15 others to maintain progress is beyond me. If controlling the number of persons who can participate in an event is a priority, we are keenly aware of the possibility of doing so without halting the action altogether. According to Biz Community, the law's stated goals are to ensure the country's condition and natural resources, safeguard the country from dangerous diseases, disturbances, and poisons, and coordinate the organization of legal trade and secure cross-periphery travel. The act requires the establishment of the Border Management Authority, a border strategy and the work of border specialists, an interministerial consultative committee, a border technical committee, and trustee warning sheets. Border Management Authority will operate independently from the South African Revenue Service and other government agencies.